Hello everyone, my name is Sarah. I go by G Sarah on Instagram, and in case you are new to this channel, this is a safe place to come to for mindful motivation as well as a documentation for my first business, Eclipse Botanica. I mentioned in my last video that I got approved for First Mondays in Canton on the 3rd. It starts on the 3rd and it runs through the 6th and today is the 22nd. <laughs> so I have spent the last week being sick and I couldn't do anything and I got a whole bunch of stuff in the mail in the meantime that I wasn't able to open because I don't want to, you know, get my germs on stuff, but I'm good now. I wanted to document this whole journey with my first vendor trade show for my business. I will have Dustin with me on Friday and Saturday and he's going to help me set it up on Wednesday and then I'm going to go up there by myself on Thursday and then he's going to help me take it down Sunday or Monday morning. I don't remember. Anyway, it's confusing. He will be there. He'll be there to to help me on like the busiest days of selling, which is which is good. And then um on the last day he has to work, but he's still going to help me take it all down. The point of all of that though is that he's going to be there for a lot of it. He's going to be there for the important stuff so he can help me kind of record us setting it up and how I end up displaying everything and he can record a couple of transactions and just kind of just how it all looks and how it all goes because I would like to be able to have these videos as kind of like a resource for people who are wanting to go to a trade show for the very first time and they have no experience and they don't know anything besides what they've read on the internet so yeah um I did want to show you guys real quick what I found in just flea markets and Goodwills, these, actually none of this came from Goodwill. It all came from this place. I'm sure it's not a big um, operation. It's called Twice as Nice. And this is where I found most of the stuff that I'm going to be using as display stuff. Because, I mean, it's a flea market. So, like, this is three bucks. And it's just wicker. It's wicker and wire. Keep in mind, I have a lot of stuff that I can use. Doesn't mean that I'm going to use all of it. But I have a lot of stuff that I can use. Like, I have this bowl. This was three bucks. This bowl was two bucks. This is even nicer, somehow. I mean, I want to put this in the house. Um, another wicker bowl. This is one dollar. <laughs> they're getting cheaper somehow. And then, like, okay, this is something weird that I would never normally even notice at a flea market. I would have just walked past it and not even realized that it was there because it's it's kind of random. But it's this wooden table thing. I mean, it's not really a table. It's I don't really know what you would call this, but this is going to be perfect to set on a table and it'll give me height and then I can lean stuff up against it and maybe have like shelves going up to it. It's just, it's a good way to add dimension and create a lot more out of the small amount of space that you have with a six by three table. I think it's three foot, six by three foot, six foot table. That's what everyone knows it as. So I'm really glad that I found that. That was one of the first things that I found was this and I'm like, I need to have it. I would love to have just a bunch of like empty cheese wheels. Is that what they're called? And I also found this thing. And when I saw it, I just thought, okay, cause it's old and wooden. That's why I like it. I want it. And I don't know what I'm going to use it for. And I got home and I was like, okay, now I really don't know what I'm going to use it for. Maybe bath salts. You can't really see, but <laughs> you could buy like a six pack of bath salts. I don't know. But anyways, I got home and then I looked at the label. Well, first off, I saw this. Is it a milk carton thing? And looked it up online because this is Tommy Bahama. <clears throat> this thing right here is like 50 bucks, which I found for a dollar. No, no, it was $9. I found it for nine bucks. And I'm going to keep the tag on because I figure I can, maybe I can fill it with stuff and then sell it as like a gift thing and it's it's a it, I looked it up it's a beer case holder which is strange because if you want cold beer why would you I don't know I'm not gonna question the Tommy Bahama people so I might use it as display I might use it to put stuff in it and sell it as a gift ba gift ba gift oh, gift basket before I open up the rest of this and while I'm still talking about this, I would like to just go ahead and jump in and say right now that I am not concrete sure about how I'm going to use 
any of this stuff. So if you have any suggestions at all, please drop them down in the comments because I, I've been getting a lot of really good suggestions on my last few videos on how to set up my table and, and what to use to, to do certain things. And I just, I appreciate you guys so much. So if you have any suggestions at all, I would love to hear it because you guys always have great ideas. So leave down in the comments, but um, I have another wicker basket, which this is really deep and I don't really have stuff that's big like this. So I figure I'm just gonna like fill it up with crinkle cut paper and then just set a couple of things. Hell, I could use this as a gift basket. I don't know. But it's crazy what you can find in flea markets. And then I found this. And then you're probably thinking like this, what, what is this, like a CD rack? I think it's a VHS, a VHS rack. I'm sure a lot of people don't even know what that is. A VHS. But I thought I can totally use this for these. And it fits perfectly. I haven't checked it yet. It does. It fits in there perfectly. Hee <laughs> hee. All right. So that's going to be cute. And then we got a bamboo tray and I think I want to use this for the soaps. I don't know if you can see, I finally picked up all my soaps from Kelly and they're all amazing. They're, they're great. They're great soaps, but like, listen to this shit. She gave me a free sample of one and it's my favorite one. And, and, and <laughs> I didn't know that she had one that was like this bar of gold and it's, it smells so good. I don't even want to use it. It smells so good. And I didn't buy any of them because I didn't know that that one smelled like a goddess's armpit. But it's amazing. That sounded gross, but I mean that as a compliment. And then I have another wicker basket. I tried to kind of go for all white. Obviously, that didn't happen, but... Um, that's what I have so far. And then I also still have that big wooden tray that I talked about in the last video. And then I have a couple of other just random things, but I just wanted to show you guys, like go to flea markets and don't, you don't have to go to Goodwill because most of this stuff, actually, I think all of it, I didn't buy it at Goodwill. Whenever I went to Goodwill, they really didn't have anything. I mean, nothing that I could use. This was all from like the really sketchy looking creepy with, they don't even have a parking lot. Those flea markets, they have the best stuff. But, um, anyways, so that's all that stuff. Um, I need to get this out of the way because I have s so much stuff to open. Most of it is my Amazon order, but one of them is my banner right here. <clears throat> this is the banner that I ordered and I'm going to tag the shop below. I ordered this. I uploaded my design and emailed it to the guy and uploaded it and this came this was at the door two days later so that's amazing now let's see if it's good quality i'm sure that it's going to be good quality because these are big i think i got the seven six foot and i ordered two of them so they're really boring. Like, okay, the design that I sent in was was boring. It's just black and it has my Eclipse Botanica and then like some social media icons at the bottom. I I don't know. I was torn between just the black logo with the social media icons or my actual logo sticker, but like a rectangle cutout. And I ended up just going with the plain black. I don't really know why at this point. Now I'm wondering, I should have got like one of each. I don't know. I just got the plain black one. It's heavy. And this is big. It looks good though. You can't really see it. This is not very easy to do. Yeah, this is freaking huge. And then, um, and then we got all the social medias down there. So. That's really good quality. It smells, it smells like vinyl. I mean, duh, it is vinyl. <laughs> I just, I like that smell. Um, okay, so 
it looks great. That's awesome. It is a really simple um, sign. I just, I've seen some signs and there's just so much going on and there's cursive on one side and then, you know, some other font on the other. And I'm just, I like things to be, you know, as simple as they can be. This is a, um, a sheet that's the same pink as like all of all of the pink that's in my my brand that's this pink so i'm gonna put it down the center of one of the tables and the table layout so i've got three uh six six foot tables not 100 percent sure how to lay them out because it's a it's a 14 by 14 foot area that i have rented they are all side by side with other vendors Okay, so the only area that a customer can walk in is through the front. Now that's a lot of space going on to walk around, but if, if I fill it up with a bunch of tables and a bunch of stuff, it's really not, and it'll get really claustrophobic and kind of closed in feeling, especially with a black canopy. I mean, I'm gonna have it lit up and stuff, but I, I've been told by people, people's comments in my other videos that a lot of people don't like to walk into a shop, you know? They, they would rather the tables be up at the front, that way they could just kind of come and look and it's there. So I think I'm gonna have like a, a little L situation going. Have most of the stuff up at the front and then I have my third table. So I can put my third table like back here. I don't know. I think this is my card reader. It's called the, the Chipper 2X BT. I have no idea how to use it yet, so there's really no point in opening it, but, but you can see in there. It's just a little, it's a teeny tiny little black thing that you can use to slide cards or tap. And this works with Shopify. Shopify, right there. So it takes it all out of your Shopify inventory. It's so cute and tiny. <laughs> okay. Um, and then there's a little pamphlet right here to set it up, so I'm going to be doing that later. Big Amazon box. Who doesn't love big Amazon boxes? I know I still sound like I'm, like I'm sick, like I can hear it. <laughs> Alright, so before I open this up, just know I, I have and I bought a lot more than I'm gonna need so uh, that way I'll have options when I get there if I don't like the way that something looks when it's displayed I can take it down and grab something else because I definitely have more than enough <laughs> this is my wax warmer that I'm gonna use um and I know that that sounds weird that I'm why are like why are you getting an electric wax warmer when you have my little tea light wax warmers well here's the thing I, I'm not going to have my tea lights lit for three days straight, so I got an electric one, and it matches, because this is, this is an Edison bulb. I've talked about it in a few videos. This is an Edison bulb, and it matches all the other lights. So that way I can have some sense just going the whole time that I'm there. I'm probably going to pick one that's really strong, so either like Karma or, I mean, Basic Bitch is really strong too, but... February doesn't seem like a time for pumpkin spice. I don't know. Maybe it is. But that way I can have it going. I can have the scent going. And hopefully that will kind of like lure people into my lair. <laughs> hopefully. I am printing out two um, things from Canva that have like my QR code that pulls up all of my social medias. And then my popple on my phone will also pull up all the social medias. And I'm bringing my business cards. But this is going to be for like prices. I'm going to have... This is a set of, I think, six little tiny chalkboards and then stands to put them on. And I'm just going to write whatever it is and the price and I'm going to try to make it look cute. I'm not the best at that, but I'm going to try. And just put them all in the area that it is. Here are my tablecloths, black tablecloths, three of them. And now this might seem stupid, but uh, I couldn't find just one. I am 
their electric tea lights. I really only needed one because I want to have one going in my my little um, triple moon wax warmer. And then I want to partially melt some skulls at the top and then just light one of these and have it in there. That way it looks like it's lit up and it looks fancy, but it's not actually burning through it. And you can still see the effect of what melted skulls look like. That sounds kind of disturbing, but I think that that's a huge selling point is that they look really cool whenever you melt them. So we have those. These are hooks. This isn't very fancy, but this is a hundred, I think, hooks. A hundred hooks that I can hook on the canopy. Now, I know that the canopy isn't in here because that's not going to be here until Monday, I think. Chalk markers for my, my price signs. And I also haven't bought my other two tables yet. I was going to buy them on Amazon because they're like 50 cents cheaper per table. And I'm like, well, 50 cents is 50 cents. I'm going to pay for that. And then I get to the shipping part and it was $50 for shipping. And I'm like, there's a Walmart down the street. No, I don't think so. Two weeks from right now, I will be selling in, oh shit, in Canton. And my four-year-old is probably going to be with me, so that's going to be difficult. Oh, it's a display. Okay, I have to put it together. I'll, I'll pull up a picture. This is like a, um, a black acrylic, I think, display thing. Thing that I'm going to put my um, candles candles on. Here is a money box, a cash register. It's actually the pink one. Pink. It's the pink one that looks white in the picture, but y'all will get a better look at all of this um, later. Some egg crates. I think those were like 20 bucks for egg crates, which is the same price that they are at Walmart and before you even say anything, I tried to look for egg crates. I tried to look at Kroger and Walmart and Home Depot and I couldn't find them anywhere. Surge protector. Oh, these are the acrylic sign holders. So like what I was talking about earlier that I have some signs that I created on Canva that have my QR code that pulls up all of my social medias and it pulls up my YouTube and my website and stuff. I'm, I can just print them out on regular paper and then put them in this acrylic thing and it's like slanted so it'll, it'll hold it up. All right, here's my second set of egg crates. These I'm going to set on their side like this and then probably either like stack them up or just, hmm, I don't know, actually. I might put them on the floor and stack them up on each side of the table or put it on top of the table and I can have candles in there and then in there. I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to do that yet. A hundred little black thank you bags. They're just paper um, or they're plastic. I mean, they're just plastic. They're cheap bags. I, I did have like these nice paper bags and I had like a, a about a hundred black paper bags that were like this size. And then I had some big white ones, like 50 of them. And I thought that'll be really cute and I could even stamp them, the, the white ones. But it was a lot more expensive. This was really, really cheap. And so I thought, I'm just gonna do this at first. I don't wanna spend a ton of money on something that I'm not even gonna sure if it's gonna go well. I mean, I could end up totally making no money. Who knows? <laughs> we'll see, but. These are my Edison bulbs. I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna open this up so I can show y'all what this, what they look like. Oh, here's some extra ones. I can just show you. Oh, that's cool that they brought extra ones in case they don't work. But I like the shape. It's super old school light bulb shape and they um, are very golden yellow. They're not like that white LED light. I don't like that. I got two boxes because it's 25 feet and it's a 12 by 12 by 12 by 12 canopy. So I thought, okay, well, 12 by 12, that's 24. So that'll cover half of it with an extra foot to spare. Now this one is my favorite. And I looked for something like this at the flea markets and I couldn't find anything like this. 
And so I looked at Walmart and Target and it, it was all really expensive. So this was the cheapest one that I found. And even if this goes horribly wrong and it turns out I didn't need this, I can still use this at home because it's super cute. Yeah, I mean, I'm probably gonna use this around my house in between shows anyways, because it's adorable. It's super cute. So it's like a ladder. It's like, I think it's called like a plant holder. And then they just get smaller as you get to the top. But I think that is so cute. And that's way bigger than I thought it was gonna be. So I can actually just put that like on the side of a table, add some definition. Yeah, it's super cute, I love it. And if I end up, I mean, I'm gonna use it at the, at the thing, but it's just, it's cute. It's a cute piece of furniture. And anyway, everything that I got on Amazon, I will link down in the description below for you guys. Real quick before we go, I want to show you guys, I talked in the last video about how I wanted to get a tackle box and fill it with all of my necessities, and I had a bunch of people comment and say that that's a really good idea, and gave me some more ideas of what I need to add. Well, I went to Walmart and I got all the stuff to put in the tackle box, but I forgot the tackle box. So, I'm using the box that I was talking about in my video a while back that I love so much. I'm not going to bring, well, actually I might, just to save money, I don't know. I, um... I packed up my special box here. I'm not gonna keep these in here, but I have um, extension cords, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna be using those. I've got hand sanitizer. I've got fabric cutting scissors. I, I don't own any, so I went and bought some fabric cutting scissors because I wanna make sure in case I need to cut something like kind of heavy duty that they're there. I have some string, it says hemp. There's another word for it besides string and hemp. I have some black electrical tape, Kleenexes, bobby pins. No, not, these aren't bobby pins. Are these called bobby pins? Safety pins. And then from when our water wasn't working, I'm going to pack a whole bunch of these wet wipes in here also. Um, if there's anything that you can think of that I would need to add to this, for a vendor event just this is kind of like a safety box um random crap that i might need oh pens and pencils or pens if you can think of anything else that i might need to put in here let me know bags i have i think i have everything i'm just waiting on the canopy to arrive and then i'm gonna go buy the two the two big tables at walmart and i think i might get some christmas lights to put around the front maybe but other than that i mean i got my banners i have finally stocked up on everything. Oh, let me show y'all real quick. <laughs> it's my vendor pass and my parking pass or the other way around. Anyway, it's official. I'm terrified. I'm, I mean, I'm excited. I'm excited. It's going to be fun. I'm just terrified because it's also going to be really stressful because I have to watch my kids at the same time. And so I feel like there's going to, I don't know. It'll be, it's, it, I'll figure it out. The point, the point, the point the point is that it's gonna be fun it's gonna be a great experience and it's gonna be fun and I think that I am prepared if I'm not or if you have any suggestions for any of the random stuff let me know please because I I really I don't know I don't know anything about anything so everything looks good I'm glad everything arrived good it, it looks oh i need to get bins i need to get plastic bins okay so i have to buy two tables and plastic bins at walmart to to put all of this stuff in and all of my candles oh and i wanted to ask y'all for those that are still watching the video um if you were to go to an event and you had not a whole lot of inventory but some would you just put like one of each scent out and then wrap all of the other ones? Cause I do the, the pinwheel wrap, wrap. I do the pinwheel wrap with craft paper and I could do that. And then just put a sticker of what the scent is. That way they're already like ready to go. Or should I have them all sitting out like inventory? So it looks like I have a lot going on. 
shit. I don't know. I really don't know. So just let me know in the comments what you think. If I should just have them all out. Or just leave one of each scent out. Maybe one of each size of each scent. And then have the rest of them wrapped all pretty and ready to go underneath the table. Because the wrapping does kind of like leave an impression on people. Rather than just rolling it up and throwing it into a bag. So I don't know what to do. But I would really appreciate any input because y'all always... Give me really amazing answers. Very helpful answers. I always appreciate it. So thank y'all. Um, I know that my voice sounds ridiculous right now. But thank you guys for always being so supportive. And being here. And just always cheering me on. As if it weren't for y'all and my fiance. I'm pretty sure I would have given up on this a long time ago. <laughs> but um, I haven't yet. And it's. It's partially because I I have people that are that are cheering me on. So thank you. Um, I'm gonna actually open all this stuff up and get it kind of organized. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if you would like to give it a thumbs up or subscribe, that button is down below. And as always, be excellent to each other. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.